As dawn breaks each day across Thailand, one of the country's most important and revered traditions unfolds. Theravada Buddhist monks go out on their morning alms rounds to give blessings in exchange for food. But in a few neighbourhoods, there's a quiet revolution going on. The saffron robes are worn by women. And the all-male Thai clergy is not happy. Here in Thailand, only men can become fully ordained monks. For females, it's forbidden. But there's a growing movement of women challenging this rule. They're standing up to the patriarchy and fighting for spiritual equality. Thai women are very sweet and very tame. And I'm also sweet, but I'm not tame. Women have found a loophole. They're holding ordination ceremonies of their own. And more and more candidates are signing up. My focus is really clear that I have to do this. If people does not like it, it's their problem. As pandemic restrictions ease in Thailand, the capital Bangkok is roaring back to life. And Lord Panyawai is getting back into the swing of things. But the quiet times during COVID made her reassess everything. Every single day you get up at 5.30, you put your makeup, get dressed, go out, drive to work and then, yeah, clock in, clock out. After doing that life for many years, I just think what the next chapter, the new journey of my life. Anne works in life insurance and does enjoy her job. She's 43, married and loves her family and friends, but she's been searching for more meaning. And when I turn like 40, and the COVID came along. After that, I, I kind of think, oh yeah, probably I'm having a midlife crisis. <laughs> Today, Anne sang goodbye to work for a couple of weeks to go and do something very few Thai women have done. She's defying the Thai clergy and going to be ordained as a novice monk. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ninety-five percent of Thailand's population is Buddhist, but Anne comes from a Christian family. After her father died in an accident 20 years ago, a friend took her to a temple for the first time. Then, seven years ago, she married Di, who's a Buddhist. Over the years, Anne's interest in Buddha's teachings has grown. It's probably the only things that I believe can make me in a better person. Self-development start with his teaching. <laughs> 